right, thanks uh, for joining us. Uh, Nigeria's infrastructure is set for a facelift as the federal government has inaugurated a technical working group uh, for the development of the first operational plan for the implementation of the National Integrated Infrastructure Master Plan, also known as NIMP. It is expected to cover the 2017 to 2020 uh, fiscal period. Now, the plan predicts an investment requirement of $3 trillion between 2014 and 2043 to meet infrastructure requirements in energy, transport, information and communication technology, agriculture, water and mining, housing, social infrastructure, vital registration and security infrastructure for the country. Uh, we have uh, Kunle Mokolu, the Vice President, Nigerian Society of Engineers. He's also a committee member of the uh, Infrastructure Master Plan. Good to have you on the show this morning. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Yes, I I'm sure many Nigerians will be scratching their heads, wondering, now, this, there goes another... Uh, long-term plan this is supposed to cover some 30 years what is the guarantee that this plan will actually deliver on its promise and where does Nigeria hope to uh, get this three trillion dollars <laughs> okay um, that's a very good question now the thing is that this time around this plan is being taken with a lot of statistics. Uh, we have enough data and we have you know, participation of both all the NDAs and then in the, both the, the federal, the state, and even the local government. They are now involved in what we are trying to do in having a, a master plan for infrastructure for Nigeria. The other thing is that um, before you can call something a plan, you are looking at working plan for the micro sections of what you are talking about. So this time around is going to be different because the speculations are so low now. We are removing a lot of uh, variables so that we'll be able to see clearly where we're going. So we can be sure that um, all the issues that are um, into it will be, they are, they are being looked into very critically. All, all right, Kunle, the, it is one thing to have a master plan. It's another thing to really put that master plan into play. 30-year projection, how realistic is it to achieve this? Is, is it the, the plan is a beautiful one and Nigerians will certainly be happy to see this, but how realistic and feasible is this in practical terms? Uh, the thing is this, over the years, we've uh, really depended on foreigners to build our infrastructure. And uh, secondly is that we are too much in a hurry. Now, nobody can build your country for you. You are the ones to build your country. So the Anchorage and the underpinning factor in this particular plan is that we are now using our own people and our resources to be able to design, to plan, design, and execute our infrastructure. We have started now at 25% local content, and with the drive of Made in Nigeria, you know, um, advocate. For, for us to consume it in Nigeria and to reduce wastages in both government and other areas of uh, our operations. We are, not, we are not going to make sure that uh, this will be sustainable. The other thing is that um, the private sector is not being invited and made important to know that they are very uh, key stakeholder in delivering this uh, infrastructure. Then the third thing is this, the skills required are also being factored into it. As a matter of fact, we are involving the um, artisans, for example, to ask them what areas are their skill gaps and so on and so forth. So it, it, what is going to make this sustainable is that 
the, those who are going to use the infrastructure are the major stakeholders, and they will ensure that whatever they now, uh, they, they, whatever they, they, they hold, whatever they own, they will now maintain it even for generations to come. So what can you tell us about the uh, priority projects in this phased implementation? Well, uh, the priority projects are actually classified into two. The first are projects that will make us to make money because that will help us in reviving, uh, the, uh, reviving our economy. Okay? Now, those projects... Who, they are like investment projects. And those are the areas that uh, we're going to invite the um, private sector to key into majorly. Then there's one for the socials. The social projects are supposed to be delivered in such a way that um, they will address the issue of security and agitation in, you know, in so many areas. That will be majorly funded by government. All right, uh, Kunle Mokonlu, we have so much to talk about, but uh, time would not permit us to talk to exhaust this topic today. So we will look forward to another time we can dwell on this again to make Nigerians understand what uh, it entails. Uh, Kunle Mokonlu, uh, Vice President of the Nigeria Society of Engineers and the Committee Chairman, Infrastructure Master Plan, thank you for talking to us on TVC Breakfast.